how have you been able to rise so quickly to be in the thick of the race for the starting cornerback spot? Uh, I think that we've all done a good job competing with each other uh, this fall camp. And uh, really, I just think that since, you know, I'm an older guy and uh, I've been in a system that's run a pretty complex defense that I was able to pretty much, you know, catch on to things pretty, pretty good. All I really had to do is just learn the terminology and I feel like I would be fine for real. You come here to K-State um, from Minnesota. What do you want to prove this season and what was the what all went into the decision to come to K-State? Uh, the decision to come to K-State, you know, uh, just throughout the recruiting process, this was the staff that I just felt most comfortable with. And uh, Coach Kleinman had a pretty good winning culture at North Dakota State, and I knew that that would translate well here in the Big 12. So that's something that I just wanted to be a part of for my last year. What would you like to prove this year? Yeah. Sorry. What i like to prove this year, uh, really just being consistent, you know, I just want to be consistent and just be able to show my talents uh, however I can on the field. Kels? DeAndre, for those of us who haven't had the pleasure of watching you play in person yet, how would you describe your game as a cornerback? What's your style like? Uh, style, I just want to say that, like, really confident. You have to be confident to play this position. And I would just say smart. You know, I feel like I'm a student of the game. and. I really pay attention to the details whenever it comes to watching film and just being able to communicate with the guys out there and all just be on the same page. You know, I feel like as a secondary, we have to run as one. And I feel like that's, you know, part of my job is to make sure that we're all a well-oiled machine back there. And I, I imagine, you know, making the transition from one school to another this late in your college career isn't the easiest thing in the world. How did you go about making it a seemingly seamless transition? Uh, I mean, I think really the hardest part is just throughout this whole pandemic was just getting to know the guys for real. Because whenever I first got on campus, you know, we really couldn't do too much with all the virus going, like the whole virus thing going on. But, you know, whenever I came in and got settled and got acquainted with everybody, you know, the transition was pretty easy. Perks. Yeah, Keandre, how does the culture at K-State compare to what the culture was like at Minnesota where you came from before? Uh, I just feel like both are very family oriented. Uh, you can tell like on both teams that all the players love each other and they get along and, you know, the coaching staff and the players have a very good relationship. You know, the things that I think both coaching staffs do well is they ask input from the players and, you know, they actually – you know, take our thoughts into consideration. You know, I feel like they do a really good job of that. Appreciate it. Adam? You're from Minnesota, now you're at K-State in the Big 12, a conference known for high-powered offenses. As a defensive back, how do you feel about that change and going up against these high-powered offenses that the Big 12 is known for? Uh, I mean, whenever you play against high power, I think every defense's objective is to stop explosive plays. So, you know, as a defensive back, that's one of our main purposes, to, like just go out there, be technically sound, don't miss any assignments, and you can pretty much stop those high-powered offenses just playing disciplined ball. Ryan? Hey, Keandre, how you doing today? I'm doing good. Hey, well, what I was wondering is, uh, you know, given that you, you know, you transferred from Minnesota and then you saw what's happened with the Big Ten, are you kind of like, wow, I kind of dodged a bullet potentially of either having to play in the spring or potentially not playing at all? Uh, I just honestly feel like we're blessed to be in the position we are to play the game that we love this fall. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got people out here petitioning to uh, play and be in our position. So I'm just thankful that we get to play. Thank you. Got these last two real quick, Scott. Yeah, what have you seen from Wayne Jones, the strong safety? Uh, my first impression of Wayne Jones is that he's a very smart player. You know, Wayne is out there making all the calls, telling everybody what to do, all the checks. Wayne is just on top of his game. 
he's on the next level when it comes to, you know, knowing the defense and knowing what the offense is going to do. And that's really – like, you don't see that much from young players like Wayne's age. So he's really advanced in that aspect of the game. Last one here, Derek. Uh, what initially drew you to Kansas State? Was there was there a connection, or what was kind of a draw to you know play your college football in Manhattan rather than Minneapolis? Uh, you know, once again, you know, whenever I went through the you know recruitment process, like these were the coaches I just felt you know most comfortable with. You know, I had a seen like the type of coach that coach Malone was back when I was in high school you know he has like a relationship with my DB coach that I had in high school and then you know coach BA you know Brian Anderson he was uh, at Minnesota my true freshman year so you know that was a the connection there and yeah I just felt most comfortable with these guys